Hey everyone, let's talk about the Sono Sion. Now, I was able to have a chat with the CEO last week, which you can check out right here. By the way, he said it is pronounced Sion, but they don't care if you say Sion. I'm gonna say Sion because one, it's the correct pronunciation, and two, we already had Toyota Sion, so let's go with Sion. Anyway, I was able to see the exterior up close. I was able to sit inside of the car. I was not able to drive it or be a passenger, but I think the footage that I got is good enough to satisfy you if you're looking for more footage of the Sion. One thing to note, the quality in the footage you're about to see is not up to my usual standards. I basically just picked the wrong camera for this this time. Uh, next time it'll be better, hang in there with me. Anyway, here is the Sono Sion. Okay, so... The cool thing is this thing is has a matte finish and it's really hard to see these solar cells indoors. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, um, but yeah, there we go. We, I think you can kind of see solar cells here. Now this is uh, basically the production vehicle is what they tell me. This is not a prototype. So this is close to the finished product, or this basically is the finished product. I think they just need to do a couple final tests. Uh, but this is what you're going to see on the road in Germany, hopefully next year. Let's go sit in the front seat. So one of the first things I noticed about this is things feel nice. Like this, I'm not sure what this is made of. It looks like it might be some kind of recycled material, but I'm not positive. It feels really solid. Um, the texture on here feels a little bit cheap, but hey, this is going to be a $25,000 car, right? Um, same with the buttons. Actually, the buttons feel nice, too. The steering wheel reminds me of something from a Toyota. Uh, let's see, can't quite get that. It's dark in here. Steering wheel reminds me of something from a Toyota. I'm not quite sure what, but it feels solid. It feels nice. The displays look very nice. I'm not sure if they work. Let's see. Okay, hey, check that out. The UI actually works. It looks very nice. Actually, it feels, it's, it's responsive. It's not like my current Chevy Bolt. This screen is very responsive. And then of course there's this air filter that I think is actually functional. I should have asked, does this get dirty after a while? I did ask about it after I filmed that footage and it turns out that the uh, moss is just part of the filtration system. There is a regular in-cabin air filter that takes care of basically all of the filtration and the moss is just there, it might pick up a little bit of extra things. They did say that moss is replaceable and I think he mentioned something about you might be able to put other things in there besides the moss. I don't know what else you would put in there, but keep an eye open for that feature. But, uh, you know, I think these are <laughs> not going to be on the production car. We got, we have some storage here. Oh, it's pretty kind of weird. We got cup holders. Seats feel fine. They feel just like you would maybe get in a Civic or a Corolla, something like that. We got the start and stop there. And again, I really like this material. I'm wondering what this is. It feels solid. Okay, as we go around the back, let's open this up. One tiny problem for me is I'll have to watch my head. <laughs> I'm about 5'10". Um, not that you need to go under that often, but it is a little bit low. That was a hard angle to show what I was trying to show. Uh, had I stood up straight, I would have totally hit my forehead on the hatch. So when I was filming that, I was kind of crouching down a little bit. So just something to note, if you're a taller person and you plan on putting a lot of things in the back of that car, you might have to hunch over every time that you do that. Right here in the back, um, we have some tie downs. It's great, there's pockets here. The seats do a... Uh, 60-40 split and then it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of space but when you open it up here oh, it's actually I don't know if you can see like it's rather dark but there is a lot of space down there this thing is actually pretty heavy too I'm not sure if you can stow this away if this comes off or if, if this can come out all the way um, or if it, you can just lift it not quite sure Let's get in the back. 
I'm not quite sure what I meant when I said there's not a lot of space, because looking back at the footage, it looks like there's a lot of cargo space back there. I'm thinking maybe the vertical space doesn't look quite as big in person, but definitely when you lift up that partition, there is a lot of extra space underneath there. There's the... We also have the backup camera there. Let's check out the back. So here, it looks like the front seat is pushed back almost all the way. Let's see how the leg room is. Okay, so I'm five foot 10 about, and I can fit just fine. My knees still have room. Have enough headroom here, no problem. And it's actually quite cushy. It kind of reminds me of my Nissan Leaf, uh, which was comfortable. So this is nice. Okay. Yeah, we also have cup holders, or actually, I'm not sure if there's a cup holder, but there is storage space there. Um, is there. No center here in the back seat. We also have a see-through tunnel here, and uh, one plug there. Yeah. All right, so overall, this looks like a really solid car. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, well, they haven't put a car out, blah, blah, blah. Dude, like, you gotta start somewhere. This is almost ready. The interior feels really solid. Um, the exterior looks very unique. Uh, the solar panels are cool. You can't really see the solar panels until you get up close at certain angles. So I'm not sure how it's gonna come out on camera, but it's pretty hidden in real life. It just looks like a matte black car. Unfortunately, because there's a lot of people here today, I can't ride in the car. They only have one car. So if they take this car out to drive some people around, the other people that are here are not gonna have uh, anything to look at. So that is why, but it does work. It does roll, <laughs> it works. Uh, it's just they're not able to take us out today. Just a few minutes after I said that, they took Nikki Gordon Bloomfield from Transport Evolved on a very, very short ride in the parking lot in the back. Now the car isn't road legal, so they weren't allowed to go on actual streets, but uh, Nikki got a very short ride as a passenger in the parking lot in the back. If you haven't, check out Sona Motors, check out their website. If this is something you're interested in for the US, it sounds like it's not gonna be here until at least 2024. Um, if it's debuting in Germany in 2023, I think it's gonna take a little bit of time to come overseas. So just be on the lookout, something that's definitely very different, very unique, and uh, I can't wait to see it on the road in the US.